this is the disaster of a pantry we have going on. I'm about to reorganize this like crazy. Finally, I've taken so long and been procrastinating this and it just needs to happen. Hello, welcome to Raven and Baby. I'm not super loud because Baby is sleeping in the other room. Today is a different video. I am finally decluttering the pantry. It is a disaster. So now you can see it's empty and great, but that is because I took everything out and it's all on my counters now. So I'm about to flip you around so you can see everything. If you watched my previous video, you know that Chris and I now are on keto, so I'm going to reorganize it with keto in mind and basically throw some things out donate some things probably and then obviously not throw completely everything out because I told you that Chris is still eating some of the carbs but I want to reorganize it so that the easy to access shelves are all perfect for keto so here we go disaster that is my kitchen and I just cleaned it yesterday so nice right well anyways uh, so I am going to get the trash bin and anything that is opened already i will probably toss that you know doesn't fit at all that we don't want to have for snacks and then and excuse the dirty dishes i'm sorry i have not cleaned the kitchen yet anyways um so i'm going to throw those kinds of things out but if it's fully sealed and it's just something that we weren't able to get to and it's not going to fit then i'm going i put some plastic bags over here and i'm going to do my best to donate it somewhere so that we're not being as wasteful as possible so let's go ahead and get started and pumpkin pancake mix this is i think might be the hardest one for me because this pumpkin pancake mix if you haven't tried it, it's bomb but you know what i'm gonna get me some almond flour and figure out how to make me some pumpkin pancakes we're gonna do this thing. Today I'm going to be doing a Target haul because we're gonna need some food. It's sparse now. <laughs> is now organized we have these three shelves that are like pretty easy to access and then we have this way down on the bottom and then way up at the top so at the top are just the last bit of things that we have that kind of have some carbs that we probably won't rebuy these are not the Lara bars they're actually like quest bars and power crunch bars and things like that and I apologize. My daughter is playing over here. Yes, my love. She is. So these are basically just snacks that we probably won't repurchase. We don't want them eye level because we don't want those to be our go-tos. Then in the front I have oils that we use on a regular basis and then things I cook with. This I haven't tried out yet, but I'm looking forward to trying it out. It just hasn't fit with like the seasonings and stuff that I've been using. Then over here we've got peanut butter and a bunch of packages of nuts like almonds, macadamias, pecans, pistachios, stuff like that. And then other baking items that just aren't used as much. And then uh Sugar-free jello, some jerky, and those miracle noodles. But those are not like on a regular basis. These are like daily. And then down here, we've got some vinegars, our protein powder. I have this in the front because we use it the most. Unsweetened cocoa powder, unsweetened baking chocolate. I have by our spices, the other stevia. That's just the unopened one. Bone broth, things like that. Things that we are able to have in our diet and we use on a regular basis, we want to be able to reach easily. And then I just needed a place to store baby food and now that we've got more baby food going on, this was a good place to go. 
And then I also have a baby bullet that I'll use for like avocados and stuff. And then these are the refill uh, formulas that we have. These are popcorns and fruit snacks that Crystal has to finish. And then these are pork rinds. I mean, these are totally fine for me to fit, but I generally just have them when I want like a popcorn or chip kind of snack. So I don't want ready access because I would rather pick healthier items. The next step will be the fridge and the freezer, so I'll probably do that in a separate video, but this looks better. It's obviously not perfectly organized, but I'm happy for now with what we've got going on, especially the baby food. That actually looks really neat.